cabinets could be such a tasty snack, or that a feather duster was the perfect thing to cuddle up to, until my dog came. Getting dragged around the house was a perfect way to spend a snowy evening. Chihuahuas have got nothing on a Rottweiler. <laughs> Little purse dogs can't jump snowdrifts without a second glance, plow through your igloo, and keep going. They can't tolerate sitting still because they have to have their paint, nails painted so that we can recognize our little six-week-old puppy when we come and get him in another month, even though his eyes aren't open yet. Rottweilers are so loving. Their reputation for being attacked dogs is undeserved. The only danger from my boy was being lit to death in a welcome home frenzy of dog slobber and dog fur. Getting knocked over by a Rottweiler is insane because a Rottweiler always wins in any greeting. I never really liked peanut butter until it became a constant staple in my house once my Rottweiler came because he balled peanut butter jars to pieces in an attempt to get every last morsel of the deliciously sticky substance that would not wash out from his fur. I would cuddle with this dog who's bigger than me even once I hit 5'5 five five and he started to shrink and watching the light fade from his eyes, having to let go of my baby boy, broke me. I can't stand in my living room anymore. Ghosts of the last day that he was here flash across my vision. Waking dreams haunt me. Our whole world might disappear, but the memories remain, and love will always be in my heart for the puppy who could fit in the palm of my hand and still tried to call into my lap even once he was fully grown. The last time I saw my baby boy, my Rottweiler, he was, being, he was under a sheet being driven away from me forever. 